Hey guys, thank you for downloading Creative Color Grading Packs. I'm going to walk you through how to install these profiles to work with Adobe Camera Raw. And this is also the same process to manually install for older versions of Lightroom before 7.5. So I don't have anything open yet. I just have my desktop showing here. Right here I have my downloads folder. So once you have downloaded the product and unzipped it, it should look similar to this. I have the master collection, so you'll see 100 XMP files here. You may have downloaded an individual pack and you only have 10 of these. Either way, this is the same process. Basically what we need to do is get these XMP files into another folder. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I also have a raw file here that I'll be working with. Okay, so from our finder menu at the top, you wanna to go to the go menu, but there's a trick. You wanna hold the option key while you do it. So if I don't hold it, it looks like this, but if I do hold it, you can see that library folder appear right here. And that's the folder we want to go to. So again, hold option, click go, and then you should see that library folder. Click that. Next, we want to go to application support, which is right here. Adobe. Camera Raw. Settings. Okay. Now, once we're in this folder, there might be some stuff in there. Just ignore that for now. And we're going to go back to our downloads folder. So again, you can see all those XMP files are right here. Really what we need to do is get all of these into this folder. And there's a couple ways you can do that. What you don't want to do is just drag them because if you drag them, they'll actually pull them out of this folder and you don't want to mess with your source files here. So I'm going to click one and then hit can Command A and that selects all of them. And now I'm going to hold Option as I drag them and that actually duplicates them. So they stay here and move over here. You can also highlight all and do command C, command V to copy and paste. So command C here, command V here. But now once those are in there, they're actually installed. That's really all you have to do. So I'm going to close both folders and open up Photoshop. I'm going to open up that raw file that's on my desktop. which opens up Adobe Camera Raw here. So now that we're in Camera Raw, we're gonna, so we're gonna see where those profiles end up. So within Camera Raw, you wanna go to this profile menu right here, drop that down and go to Browse. And then once you do that, you'll see all the packs right here. So all those XMP files for the profiles are now broken down into their individual packs, candy cigarettes, cocaine roller derby, and so on. So I'm gonna drop down cocaine roller derby and just by simply hovering over each icon, you can get an instant preview, preview of what that profile does. So I'm gonna click that one, and then you have an intensity slider right here. And that's it, it's that simple. Now this process is also the same way to get these installed to work with older versions of Lightroom. I'm gonna show you how that worked. So I'm gonna get out of here, close Photoshop. We're gonna open up Lightroom. Now I haven't done anything to install these in Lightroom. Okay, so I have that picture up. I'm gonna go to the develop module. And then we wanna go to basic, drop that down. And then right here we have profile, Adobe color, drop that menu down and go to browse. And now you'll see they're right here, same thing. I didn't do anything differently. That one process installed them for Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom. So again, you just drop one of these down. You have instant previews just by hovering over. S click one to select that profile and apply it, and you have an intensity slider right here. So that's pretty much it. That's how you install this to work with Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom. Make sure to back up your downloads folder. Once you have it downloaded, extracted, and installed, make sure all those XMP files are in here and you didn't move them. And if so, just go ahead and back them up in case you need to upgrade your computer, reinstall Lightroom, or whatever. Thanks for downloading.